Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this of course is the Elder Scrolls Online. We are here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary to talk what today like about to? sacraments in the Dark Brotherhood in Elder Scrolls Online. So what are contract and sacrament quests? Contract and sacrament quests are unique kill quests available to members of the Dark Brotherhood. Once you have completed the Dark Brotherhood quests, Welcome Home, you will be able to take on contract quests for the Brotherhood. With contract quests, you'll be asked to assassinate a target located anywhere in Tamriel and be rewarded with gold, experience, and Dark Brotherhood reputation points. You can perform as many contract quests as you like in a day. Sacrament quests are available after you complete the Dark Brotherhood quest, A Lesson in Silence. While sacrament quests also have you assassinate a target, they are generally more challenging than contract quests. You can only take on one sacrament quest every day, and they offer the best rewards for completion. Now that we know all of that, we come over to Speaker Terranus in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and... Why do you disturb me, Initiate? Do you have anything for me today, Speaker? I do. Our beloved Night Mother has received a petition. The time has come to take a life. Who do I need to kill? Before we proceed, I offer you a challenge. Two, in fact. Consider it a bonus, a chance to demonstrate your skill. If you succeed, I'll reward you. If you fail, so be it. As long as the target dies, the sacrament is fulfilled. I'm listening. Your target awaits in the smuggler's den. It's a damp and torchlit cave, the perfect hiding place for fugitives and witless thugs. You'll be seen as a trespasser there, so if you wish to avoid a bounty, then you should avoid being seen. What do I need to do? True followers of Sithis are like wraiths, only visible when they wish to be. Show me that you are a master of stealth. Complete your task without alerting the residents of the smuggler's den to your presence. I understand. The work of an assassin demands secrecy, certainly, but also speed. Our knives must strike quickly, decisively. With that in mind, I challenge you to finish your dark work before the tunnel's overseer arrives. And what is your second challenge? It seems that our target has a taste for the fouler things in life. We should give them a taste of their own bitter medicine. Don't you agree? Use poison to kill your prey. Anything else? I am told that the target has a treasured pet named Lucky. Pathetic sentiment. Our dread father has nothing but scorn for the tamed and the weak. Slay this beast in his name. And who is my target? A chef named Daniel Uvelas. She was called to prepare a great feast for House Halalu. Alas, she used sour quamo eggs in her famous souffle. Dark elf nobles are not fond of parties that end with relentless vomiting. Kill this cook. Daniel Uvaleth will die. And one of the challenges was to use poison, which basically go into your inventory, find a poison, right click, equip it. It will go into your inventory slot and that was all i had to do to kill with poison and the rest i will leave you to watch the sacrament and i will be back at the end enjoy
And with that, our sacrament is complete. All that remains is to return to the sanctuary, which happens right as you finish, and go to speak to Speaker Terranus. Do not dally. A throat awaits your blade's sharp kiss. I have returned, Speaker. Is it done, Initiate? The target in the smuggler's den has been eliminated. Well done. What about the challenges that I posed for this task? I completed all of your challenges. Performed with all the care befitting the Night Mother's sacred work. Your devotion to this task has not been overlooked. Return again tomorrow and I'll provide another opportunity to prove your prowess. And so we now have two unidentified Sithis touch equipment, an event ticket, and gold, and a completed quest. The litany has begun. And here we can see some of the rewards. We've got a crafting motif and Sithis ring. And the other one is Sithis epaulets and a leniency edict. Alrighty folks, this has been Checkers with a look at sacraments in the Dark Brotherhood in the Elder Scrolls Online. I hope you found the video informative and maybe even just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and thank you if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to ask you to please, please, take care.